because I had to make something from school. Let me see. What is this? Oh, I'm loving it. Go Pegasus. From Beyblade. Is that from Beyblade? Yeah. Go Pegasus. Yeah, there's that's this Beyblade? Peg yeah, that's Pegasus. Oh, okay. I love his hair. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I love it. Do you like the wristband? The headband? The headband? Yeah. yeah. And then what's this? Does he have a thing on his yeah. back? And then he has stars on his knees. Yeah, that's, I put that so um, like cowboy version. The cowboy version? Does he have one cowboy boots? Uh, no, those are just his shoes. <laughs> I, was, I was gonna put um, th them on them, on his shoes, but I was like, you know what? He needs more detail. Ew, you're sweaty. I know. <laughs> I was gonna give you a kiss. It's a good see a thing I saw you glistening. Ah! <laughs> Get out of here. This is really cute. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> Thank you. Oh, you're so gross. <laughs> Get out of here, you gross boy. You sweat. I do sweat. It's not as gross when I do it. Hey, it's Mary, and I'm really excited to be here for National Scrapbooking Day weekend. My challenge for you today is called Punch Your Shimmers Out Until You Can't Sequins No More. So what my challenge entails is using shimmers in some way, sequins in some way, and then using your paper punches to punch them out. Right now I am using the Dazzlers Shimmers product. It's called See You in the Morning. This is a gorgeous paste that turns out really like um, pearlescent in the end when it dries up. And I am currently using um, the Wild and Free sequin mix that Jody created. It's a new release and you can find everything in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop. And stay tuned at the end. I will link everything down below. But stay tuned in the end after the close-up shots so that you can catch a special code for this weekend to save even more moolah. So I'm just uh, pulling out some of these really pretty mirrored sequins. They're flat sequins. And uh, those are also in the wild and free. Now I'm going to switch to use some pasties. This is the raspberry sherbet. And this is a really thick paste that dries on a matte finish, so there's not any sparkle to it at all. Now I'm using Hey Kiddo. So the trick to doing this is, is to make sure that you have a really thick, smushy surface um, when you put the Shimmers products down. I switched it up, and now I'm using some Free Spirit, free spirit Sequins. Now this is the first time that I have ever used Shimmers products, ever. And I, this is a total experiment. So what you see here might look like a hot mess, but it comes out so fun in the end. That is the Pasties Peach Fuzz. And now I'm using the um, Neon Summer. And I'm just pushing it down with my little uh, tool, my silhouette tool. I'm going to put down some Jaded Heart sequins as well. And I'm just using a bunch of different mixes that I love that kind of coordinate with the colors of the Shimmers products that I purchased. I do have an idea in mind for the layout at this point. Here is the spring mix, or the spring fever mix. I'm going to add some more of that peach fuzz because I really love that color. And this is the... Um, I think it's the Be True to You, or it might actually be Gone with the Wind. I think I used almost all of the sequins. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I will definitely link down all of the products I used. Now, these are the, um, the Acritones, and I got the I got four different colors, but here you're only going to see me use the navy one in the navy. And I just took a number one paintbrush, and I'm putting on some dots and some strokes. And now I'm taking my palette knife and scraping it on. And I love the way that it turned out with the textured cardstock. Card also, Jody sells some of this uh, textured cardstock in her shop. So I will link that below as well. 
It's a really thick cardstock and it's perfect for mixed media. You don't have to um, worry about gessoing it for stuff like this. Okay. So now I have gone into my stash and I have grabbed a wood grain American Crafts cardstock because I wanted to see what the acrotones would look like with the wood grain background and scraping it on. So I'm using my more of my colors now. I'm using the uh, let's see, the green is Jive and Jade, and then the pink is pink Pinkadelic. And now I'm taking the white, which is three sheets to the wind, and I'm going to add it on top of the uh, mixed media that I did. And it's starting to look like a hot mess. Seriously, don't worry, though, because it turns out. Now I'm lightly taking that peach fuzz and scraping it on. And I'm adding in some of that navy on top of it. I really loved how that looked on the wood grain textured cardstock. Now I'm thinking, is there anything else I want to do? Yes, there is. I want white splatters. So I just mixed it with a little bit of water and then I splattered it all over. And this added just another texture. Okay, so now it's somewhat dry and I'm going to start punching it out and you'll start to see this come to life. I used two different punches. Uh, the Fisker's punch is definitely less powerful unless you have the thick media punches. It's definitely less powerful than the other punch that I used, but it still works. And you just have to kind of convince it by squeezing it a couple of times. The only sequins that I could not get to work, and this is because they're too three-dimensional, doesn't mean that my punches wouldn't have punched through it. I just couldn't get it into the mouth of my punch were the spring, like the flower, the itty bitty flower ones. The ones that came in the neon summer sequin mix. So now I'm going back to the wood green paper that I did and I'm going to punch that out. I'm not going to make you guys watch everything. <laughs> um, I have enough of these triangles left to um, probably supply a small community. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to lay them out a little bit for you so you can see what they look like. And if you'd like to see how I did this in my layout, then head over to Create Craft Repeat, which is my channel. I'll leave a link down below and you can see the process video for that. I just loved this idea. Oh, and I'm going back to the Dazzlers, the See You in the Morning Dazzlers and punching them out. I didn't know after everything was done if I'd want to use it. Um, and I had a really hard time punching through it because it was so thick. And I think it was the thickness of the sequins and not the thickness of the actual Dazzlers paste that I used. So that's it for me. Here's some close-ups and make sure to watch until the end so you get your special code for this weekend. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.